Hello, welcome to Discovery Lab Online. My name is Amber Shive and I work at the Fort Worth Museum of Science and History. And today we're going to do a STEM project inv involving Sir Isaac Newton's first law of motion. According to Sir Isaac Newton, an object at rest likes to stay at rest and an object in motion likes to stay in motion until an opposite force acts upon it. Okay, so what's all that mean? What that means is if you have a ball and the ball's at rest, the ball wants to stay at rest until an opposite force acts upon it. So that ball would stay resting all day long until an opposite force acts upon it. So if an opposite force hits that ball, then that ball is gonna keep on moving until another opposite force stops it. The same thing goes whenever you're outside on your bicycle or scooter or rollerblading. Your body and the bicycle, scooter, or rollerblades want to keep on going until an opposite force acts upon them. That opposite force could be some brakes, it could be your feet, but the thing is, whenever your bike stops sometimes, your body is still in motion, and that can cause us to take a pretty hard spill sometimes. That's why we wear helmets, so that if we do keep on going, our head will be safe. So for our STEM project today, we're gonna to be making our very own helmets, and we're gonna go outside and test them out. But we're not gonna test them out on our heads. We're gonna test them out on some things that you can find around your house. You're either gonna need a balloon, you could fill it with water or with air, an egg from your refrigerator, or a plastic egg. I'm gonna use a plastic egg for my helmet for today. And we're gonna walk through the engineer design process. The great thing about the process is it's a circle so it keeps going and going, and everyone's helmet's gonna turn out completely differently based on the supplies you can find around your house. I'm gonna use a plastic egg today, some cardboard, some different size straws that I have around my house, and a little bit of foam from an old pool noodle. You can use whatever supplies you can find. If you can find some cotton balls, those would be great. Tape is a good idea for this project. And so you wanna gather some supplies that you think would make a good helmet for your balloon, your egg, or your plastic egg. And we're gonna walk through all the steps together. Here we go. The engineer's design process. The first thing you wanna do is you're gonna ask yourself, what am I trying to accomplish? And in this case, we're trying to create a bicycle helmet out of some supplies that we found around the house. The second thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna create a plan. You're gonna sketch out your plan on a piece of paper. Decide what is that bicycle helmet gonna look like? What supplies are you gonna use? In my case, I've decided that I'm gonna use a plastic egg and I'm gonna fill it with some marbles to give it some weight to it. I think I'm also gonna use some straws that are gonna help give some cushion in case my helmet falls, which we're gonna test it out and it sure will. And then I'm gonna use some cardboard and some tape and a couple other things. Your sketch is as elaborate as you want it to be. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's just getting your ideas on paper. So step one is to ask yourself what you're trying to do. Step two, come up with a plan. And then step three, we're gonna start creating your helmet. Once you've constructed your helmet, you want to test it out and then you have a chance to improve it. And so I noticed that mine's not super secure right here. And so I'm gonna add a little bit extra tape right there so that a real engineer is always improving their work as they go. Rarely do they ever use their first idea as their best idea. And so I've got cushion here at the top. I also have cushion here at the back in case he takes a spill that way. And then you get to do the best part. You get to go outside and you get to test your creation. So I'm gonna go outside and test my helmet and see how it goes. And I want you to do the same thing. If it doesn't work right, you can always come back on and you can change things. And so now we're gonna test our creations. So how did your test go? I took my helmet outside and I dropped it a few times to see how it turned out and it held up pretty well. But here's the deal. If your helmet didn't turn out the way you wanted it to, you get a chance to test it and improve it. That means that you keep on coming back and make modifications until it turns out the way that you want it to. I cannot wait to see what your helmets look like. You can put your picture of yours in the comments below or you can add a comment on how your test went and I'd love to see it. If you'd like to see more family-friendly STEM videos, be sure to like this video below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining us for Discovery Lab Online. See you next time.